okay so let us start the class today in the previous session last on friday i have explained how to write the code in practice the code in notepad so by using of notepad text editor we can write the code html css and javascript okay within the html i already have briefed that we can insert the css cascading style sheet code uh, for styling of the web page and we can also insert the javascript code in scripts okay i told you that start script and end script within that whatever the code we want to insert we can write so in the last session we have practiced now uh, in the uh, friday session at the time time was over that moment i was briefing that how to write the code uh, javascript code so in that moment that exercise was uh, due to the time is over so we were unable to complete that today i want to complete that task also javascript code see within this here try to understand this is the notepad so within the notepad as i have brief initially so first of all at the starting i want to brief this is the html declar declaration already i have briefed that this doc type is a declaration for html html mostly used for html5 version okay means doc type html means this is the html page okay then after html this is the root element i told you that otherwise start tag html start tag once html start tag is there and lastly it is to be closed with the end tag next body body start tag we can say simply body section also whatever the visibility content whatever we want to see in the browser so that must be kept in body section okay whatever you want to see whatever you want to see in your in your web browser so that must be that must be kept in body section okay then after i started for the style with the style start tag so the web page style how the web page layout is there how the background color is there and how the header section header content will be uh color header content color header content uh alignment okay center left right alignment like that okay font size everything and the body this is the background color means the background color yellow okay so from here style from the start tag whatever the code you write that is the part of your from the start tag to end tag style and tag whatever the code i have written that is totally css okay the layout of the web page so body body background color yellow okay next h1 h1 is what header this is the selector this is i told you that whenever i was taking the class over css that moment this is h1 uh whatever kept in front of these flower braces they are called the pointer selectors here p is the selector within the flower braces the every selector may have some attributes and values this is the attribute color and this is the value okay it may have many more attributes but they must be separated with the they must be separated with the semicolon and attribute and value they must be separated with the column okay so this is the p selector p means selector for to select the paragraph and this whatever the attribute and values i have placed for the paragraph then after body one attribute and uh, that attribute assigned with the value yellow background color next h1 h1 is a selector um, that is uh, that will be used to select uh, select the header section okay so header section the attributes i have defined here font family or dana so fonts whatever the font uh, style and text align center so now style closed and this is uh, closed with the end tag so now the css code finished now this is uh, totally 
the code we have kept in body section okay next uh, this is the header okay header starting start tag and end tag and this is the content demo javascript in body okay now paragraph paragraph start, uh, start tag end tag and the content biography of a soldier now see uh, in the previous session we were uh, trying to understand that moment i told you that so that uh, within the script and the script script uh, this is called the start tag this is the script end tag within this uh, i have kept some what code that is what one function i have created a function name is wasu and within the function this get element by id method we have used this is the mostly used javascript html method this method will be used to find out the html content and the uh, sorry uh, to find out the html element to change the html content inner content that is what all our free classes so this get element by id method this is the javascript html method use it to find out the html content uh, html element and to change the content content is what all our free classes so here um, this is the a paragraph this is the content this this content will be changed by this this content okay so to call this function uh, in the previous whenever i was taking the classes in python java that moment i told you that function is nothing but a block of code will be executed whenever you call that function with the name of that function within the code whatever the code we have written in that function function that will be invoked that will be called here this this function will be invoked whenever a whenever an event occurs here event is what uh, on click whenever i click on where on a button so i have defined in html button that is equal button is equal type button so event is on on click is equal to that whenever i click on that button so over the button i have written this text click here so on that button whenever i click this function will be invoked called so the, the function invoked means within that function this method i have used that is the method of javascript html method that will be used to find out the html element to replace the content understood that so let us see this is the code here in the html document means this html page I tried to write all that code, some word HTML and cascading style CSS code, and finally, and the JavaScript code, so that you can simply understand. As I told you that these three HTML, CSS, JavaScript, every web web developer, whomever wants to become a developer, web developer, he must be able to, uh, he must be, he must have this uh, knowledge over these programming languages. Okay, these three will be part of your front end. In the previous sessions, uh, most of the time I started my classes over Python, Java. Okay, um, they are the they are the part of your backend, mm -hmm. and somewhat uh, frameworks. Otherwise, some libraries of Python, uh, some frameworks of Java. You uh, later classes will be briefed like Java for Java. That is what your Spring and Spring Boot for Python. Some word for the web development, Django and Flask, like whatever you know. Okay. So now we are uh, uh, since last uh, two or three weeks, uh, we are trying to understand uh, the front end part. Okay, the code now. Uh, let us try to execute this code. Huh? So this code is saved in a file where wow. I told you that code to be written in Notepad and the code to be saved as a file uh, with a name with the dot htm otherwise html. Okay, then after you need to run that code so this is the file i have shared so see in the previous already i told you that once code written by you go into file and save as okay in your computer wherever you want to store so in my computer in documents with the name of file name is equal g and hypertext markup language file save as okay so now save it it is asking for uh, replace. No issue, replace it. Now you go into your file explorer. Okay. 
within that file explorer within the file explorer search that file where you have stored in the documents in the documents here in the this is your file g file g is my file name and stored as a html document okay now open this one now browser will try to this is the your web page whatever you have designed here see this is the header where is that header header is what demo javascript in body so it is uh, it, its color is what background color is yellow total web page color is yellow and this is the header header and header name is content is equal demo javascript in body and uh, color is what block color and align to center and then after paragraph biography of a soldier okay now here and one more paragraph now this paragraph to be changed okay this paragraph content content is what a paragraph okay this is this this will be identified with the id 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 is equal demo so this is the button the uh, the content kept over this button is click here so whenever you click on this uh, click on this this paragraph this content will be changed now all are free classes understood that how it is changed how it is, how it is changed it is changed because try to understand how it is changed now come to the code here see here get element by id this is a method this method identify the html content html content with id attribute id attribute and this is the value so this method finds finds an html element with the name value is equal demo the content is a paragraph okay this method finds the html element but with the id id value is equal to what demo so id is attribute attribute assigned with a value this is the content content kept inside of your this section okay now what happened HT, this method will find this html content and this uh, html element okay with the uh, id and whatever the content i have written a paragraph that will be changed with the this content all are free classes okay that is part of your inner html understood that so this is totally part of a function function name is equal to was so whenever this function will be called when when we click on the button or the button this text written click here whenever we click on that button this function will be invoked a function name is equal to wasu so that function name the function will be called and within the function whatever the code means that method will be executed that method will looks for the finds for the finds for what html content which is with the id attribute and that id attribute has a value demo and this is the content this content will be changed with this content all are free classes understood that now run this code now run this code you go for the page and you click on here This is the if you want to change the background color if you want to change the background color so if you want to change the background color the background color of what the total web page so come to the code okay where here go in style a css code so this is the background color of okay body means the total uh, web web page body background color now yellow if you want to change the code, you change the code like what? You change this as background color as okay. background color 
attribute and value red okay so the total background color will be changed this is the attribute and this is the value the total background color of the web page will be changed to red color now change this uh, save this as save as what come here in the document section it is stored in document with the name of g and saved as a hypertext markup language file means html file now go into your file explorer and find that file this is my file name g now you run this so your background will be changed to background will be changed to it is to be changed to red color but It is to be changed to red color. Come to this code again. Where background color so initially background color was blue. See, initially background color was blue. Then after the color was changed, background color was blue and the header was at the uh, left side. Header was at the left side and the background color was blue and one button was uh, created uh, with a text click here. Whenever I, I am clicking over this, nothing is being, nothing is being happened here. Why? Because means I told you that whenever we click on this button, uh, a function will be called. That function, that function is kept in where? Uh, in your JavaScript, JavaScript code it's under the scripts. Okay, but here nothing is being happened. So after that, now here, whenever we click on here, okay, whenever we click on here, this is here. So this paragraph, okay, this a paragraph, this content will be changed. Change. Why? Because that moment code, little bit of code mistake. That is what C, you need to keep in your mind here. Code mistake is where uh, for this inner HTML, um, uh, in the last uh, Friday class, I did a mistake that inner HTML, uh, in place of is equal to, okay, in place of this is equal, to, I have kept the parenthesis here. This is uh, closed with the parenthesis. Then it will give a mistake. Then it will give a, that code will not be, that means that button will not be run. If you change this code, if you save this code as, save as, okay. That button, whatever, whenever we click on that button, whatever the code uh, function we have kept in scripts, so that code, uh, that function will not be called. See here, run this. So button created, okay. If you click on here, if you click on here, okay, it is being done. So see here, come to the code. Where is that code? So now it is being done. But as per this code, what code is what? It is being executed. There is no issue. If it is not executed at that moment, you keep there is equal to understand. I will show the code for JavaScript. JavaScript code here. So that I told you many times, code uh, function will be called. So that function, function is nothing but a block of JavaScript code that will be called whenever we click on a button. Means one event occurs. That event is what? Click on, okay? So let us come to the code. 
so the script the code can be kept in i told you that either header section otherwise body section in the in the previous example we have kept the code in not uh, head section not in head section here the code kept scripts start script tag and end tag end script tag the code kept in head section here function created function name document dot get element by id this is the html content uh, html a javascript html method used to find out the html element to change the html content with the id demo okay now this function it is a function okay that is kept in script so from here this is the javascript code so in in html document we can keep n number of uh, scripts n number of scripts in in either header section head section otherwise uh, body section so now code script code kept in head section with uh, starting start tag this is the head end tag within this under the script start tag and this end tag this function kept okay now one more example after that this is what your um, header header okay this is your um, id attribute with a value of demo and uh, that method will find out this html element with the id name demo and change this content a paragraph to what so this function will be whenever this function will be called whenever we click on the button the button the text written over the button is try it i have i have written there click okay whenever we click on that moment this function will be called and that function will change this content to what this content to what this paragraph changed okay so now here try to understand our code will be kept now body that was head script code kept in head of the html document here we there are two ways we can keep the script code in either in head section otherwise body section in this example a javascript function is placed in the body section of an html page that function is called when a button is clicked simple here see now this is the html document root element body within this body your script will be your script code will be there the function okay with this method so now body script closed then body closed so in the previous example the script code kept in head section we can keep in here see a javascript function is placed in the head section of an html page so javascript can be in either head or body so you can place any number of scripts in html document the scripts can be placed in the body or in the head section of html page okay understood so this is the example head, head this is the code for kept in head section this is the head section a section with the start tag and then script start tag script end tag function 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 okay now come here now try to execute the code under this code whatever happening let us see So now what happened here, click here. So the content changed. Now you were, the background is yellow. Initially it was uh, blue color. 
towards the blue cover color and your head head is header is at left side now header is at center okay okay i have changed the content of your uh, content of your header section here c this is your if you want to see the source code you simply control u click on control u so you will get this is the source code written for that web page this is the source code i have written for background color is equal to yellow background color is equal to yellow for this okay uh, what about that suppose here see uh, wherever uh, code where see here this is the id attribute with the name value demo okay this uh, html element uh, will be find out by this method get element by id method with id uh, name demo and this content will be changed with this all our free classes content that is part of your inner html understood that this is one more attribute so now code this is the way how to write the code this is the yellow and see uh, text align center text align center now, if you want to see for this latest code, um, where is this? For any web page, if you want to see whatever the code, so suppose here, for any app, simply you click on Control U. So then what happened? You will get, you, will, you can be able to see whatever the code written for that HTML document. This is the source code. Okay, but you can't change the source code. Just you can you can see what the code has written for that web page. This is all the source code I have written. You can simply somewhat HTML code, and this is from here CSS code, cascading style sheet code, and script, JavaScript code kept in between script start tag and script end tag. Now the total the script code kept in your body section i told you that um, more than uh, more than one scripts we can kept in uh, html document mm, this script javascript code can be kept in either in body section otherwise head section understood that so initially try to understand how i have initially i have written the code like this simply so there is no any background color understood that so uh, this is the header header free classes these are all what uh, paragraph sections these are all paragraph these are all paragraph one paragraph two paragraph three paragraph four and this is um, content kept content kept in uh, uh, content kept under uh, id attributes okay this is the button button created or the button text written as click here nothing is being happened if you want to see the code control u you you simply control u this is the source code i have written for that so okay background color is okay so to see how the page was web page was developed initially like this then after color was changed color was changed to blue now i am clicking here nothing this pair this content is being not changed so whenever here okay This all are here. The only the header section is here. Header is there. Only one paragraph. Okay. This is the code I have written. Understood that. 